Good afternoon from the CBS 19 Newsroom. I'm Jillian Sheridan. And I'm Mike Landers. Another day in court for capital murder defendant James Calvert and Tyler and another run-in with the judge. Calvert was asked to lay out why a laptop that he'd been using should be returned to him. The judge listened and then said, no, we'll have a report from the court. We were in Longview today to follow up on the police station shooting there and the concerns about safety in public buildings. This after the shooting of a teen armed with a knife last week. Longview's mayor is requesting the possibility of metal detectors for City Hall be evaluated. We have a live report from our Longview newsroom. Ever hear of free range kids? Sort of the opposite of kids with helicopter parents who are there for a child's every need all the time. We're going to learn more about the woman who is proposing this idea on her new Discovery Channel show and an East Texas woman who thinks that letting kids do do more fending for themselves is a good idea. As Tyler waits for the opening of its animal rescue facility a year from now, the manager of that facility is already hired. He is Sean Markman, who is currently working with the teams planning the new shelter. We'll find out more about his philosophy and the plans for the future of Tyler's rescued animals. And get ready for gas prices to start going up again. For the first time in four months, gas prices now holding steady. Economists say that's a sign they will start increasing soon. All that plus weather and sports tonight on KYTX CBS 19 News at 5 and 6. Visit CBS19.tv anytime online for the very latest.